All right, folks, happy Saturday, 26th of March. Wish it was 26th of uh, May, <laughs> but it's not. Um, it's about 10.30 in the morning. Uh, welcome to uh, Extra Job Saturday. Extra Job Saturday. Uh, I don't know how to put it to you. I just got done, and yes, I need to pick up the rest of that net wrap there. Uh, the the surface of these four by six round bales of soybean straw uh, with that ice storm and everything else. And we got a major chill down last night. Right now, it, 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 she's cold. It's supposed to be cold all day tomorrow. And uh, we're getting a major freeze Sunday night. The truth of the matter is that is music to everybody's ears up here. Um, it helps out with the dry down process. Don't let these disgusting yards fool you. Whatever you see here, two days ago, it wasn't fit for the devil. These uh, these yards have had it. It happens every stinking year. We can't all be concrete and asphalt, for God's sakes. Uh, one of the little extra things I'm doing here for a little bit of cow comfort with all these pregnant mamas out here is uh, I'm spreading a, uh, a couple bales of soybean straw here today. This is one. Uh, not a very prolific job, I can tell you that, on rolling these things. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't have a bale, I'm going to call it a bale shredder, processor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if I had a magic wand, I would. I simply just try to unroll them the best that I can with the tractor, and uh, it helps. So, this is a... This is kind of a favorite spot for all the cows this time of year. I don't know how to explain it. It's their choice. It is. So I'm going to be flooding this area with some uh, for a nice dry laydown. This is also where one of the pads is going to be built on Monday morning. I got that bale shredder coming in here, and uh, he's going to build a couple of pads with me for a you know a couple bales per pad. Uh, I purposefully did all the feeding over on this side of the fence. Uh, this is the cow yard. Um, so that they can stay out of here and not cause me any trouble. Um, they simply just got a full wagon of silage this morning and a new bale of some damn good hay I just tapped into. Uh, that stuff was hiding and they're just destroying it. Uh, <clears throat> that's all they're getting today because there's one, two, three uh, partial rings out here and I'm going to by God make them clean it up. The reason this wagon's sitting here is I had been feeding the open heifer lot silage. And uh, I think I fed just a little bit too much the last round. Mixed in with, uh, oh, we got some fighting going on. Mixed in with that sleet storm that we got. Those, those heifers are so damn picky, they left a bunch. So rather than letting it go bad, obviously, I just brought it out here. The cows cleaned it up in probably 10 minutes. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's that time of the year. A lot of discomfort. Uh, a dry place to lay down is something very special. Uh, we don't need to talk about the stress that it puts on these animals. And uh, anything that I can do a little extra goes a very long, long way. So I'll be spreading another bale here. Uh, I got some things to tie up and probably be right after lunch. Okay, my absolute saving grace for this time of year. Uh, this used to be uh, sacred grazing ground. Uh, I'm going to call it this, this little lot that you see here. It doesn't go all the way back. It's separated. Back there is sacred grazing ground. Um, this, it was about three, four years ago. It was one of the worst springs I can remember since I started giving a damn. And uh, I had no choice. As you can see, this whole thing is kind of a hill. And it's, it's in beautiful shape. Anybody that pays attention to this channel a little bit, you know exactly where we are. This is fully and solely reserved uh, for about the week before calving starts. Now, my calendar says uh, April 14th. First week of April, this will be opened up, 
and uh, it's made a major, major difference. Holy crap, it got cold. That wind is just deadly. It's not that bad, but it'll cut right through you. So, yeah, I remember that year. I'm not saying I fought with dad, but he was against you. He goes, ah, you can't. I go, well, I, I did it anyway. <laughs> and it was one of the greater things that could have been done. And that is now sacred calving ground right there behind us. Don't get me wrong. They'll have a calf anywhere they choose. But they go after that lay down comfort and it's right behind us. Most of you know, I kind of rehabbed that ground. Uh shit that was last year and uh i did throw a little bit of no-till seeding in there this past fall because after calving's done and the regiment of grazing starts that does get closed off granted this front part gets beat all to hades but uh there's if you let it you, you know grow back there there is two full days if not more of grazing right behind us I can't explain to you what that is worth. Um, so yeah, that's the greatest hardship that I think ever happened here. It was done because of a hardship. I'm, I'm murdering this explanation. And now it has become normal. Because uh, these yards are just awful. It doesn't look like it to you right now, but it's because of this big freeze down we had. Um, you give us a 50 degree day and these yards are not fit for the damn devil. And there's a hard place to find that is uh, dry and sufficient enough for these uh, for all these ladies to uh, just uh, lay down, take a load off, you know. And it's, it's, it's all about cattle comfort. Even though it's simple things, they, they, they mean a hell of a lot. So, yeah, that's it. Rest of my day is odds and ends. Uh, I do have some trees I need to clean up from that storm. I'm staring at two of them down there at the corner. They are resting on the uh, the fence line, which isn't a huge deal, but I mean, it needs to be cleaned up, picked up. I, I've probably got a dozen tree limbs that uh, merit, you know, taking out the chainsaw. A true, uh, a true cleanup job. Uh, all those pine trees over at mom and dad's, there's, uh, there's more pine limbs down. It, it, it's, it's pretty nasty over there. Nothing devastating, just a freaking mess. That's it. Other than that, it's just a day to get ahead. I got about a, uh, a list of 50 small, stupid little odd jobs that need to be done. Just kind of enjoy the day and, uh, go from there. But, uh, that's it folks. Just giving you a little, little, little look-see here. Everybody's doing pretty fair for the most part. And uh, that time is coming. Uh, that time's coming where a, a guy needs to be checking this yard. You know, all these all these animals, uh, you know, 10, 12, 13, 14 times a day, whatever it takes. The eagle eye needs to start here in just a little bit. And... Uh, Oh, there'll be, there'll be problems. There'll be trouble. There'll, there will be losses, period. But uh, hopefully uh, as minimal as can be. Rule life. That's my two cents for today. No charge. Go ahead and take it with you. <laughs> That's all I got. I got to get in gear. Talk to you sooner and later.